Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to look at what's trending in the news. Now, a lot of what said June was a bad month. It was a month of doom. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that happened in the month of June could have been avoided, which is sad to see. Now, we, we know of the Ote Dola, um, fire incident that I, I had traveled the week before. I had passed that same route. So that weekend as well, that day the fire happened, I was already in Asaba, and I, I kept getting calls, people calling me, did you go by radar? I said, no, I flew. Oh, thank God. But lots of people died. Lots of lives were lost, and it was absolutely a Black Friday in Nigeria. But we're seeing that the government is making some move in that regard. Unfortunately, we are being reactive rather than being proactive. Lagos government restricts movement of fuel tankers to designated routes. This was announced by the Lagos state government, and it was following the tragic tanker explosion on a Tedola bridge in Wado Jodu Berga along Lagos Ibadan Expressway on Thursday, June 28, which claimed lives and property. The state government also said it was now mandatory for all articulated trucks coming into Lagos to obtain the Ministry of Transportation's roadworthiness certificate at any of the designated centers within the next 30 days. Chukudi, is this, is this really what we want? The truth is, it is not enough to say this is what we are going to do. We must be seen as carrying out commensurate action that would measure up to the laws in place. The truth is, it has never been about the laws of the land. That is why you have constitution review, so that you can review the laws, make them even more stringent, reward people, and make them more, you know, more, you try as much as you can to create a strong institution. Now, we should not be reactive, like you've said, oh, the Hotel Dollar Bridge incident, petrol tanker, let's come out and act. I mean, there was a video that went viral throughout the whole of yesterday of an NMPC um, petrol tanker laden with petroleum products. I think we have the video. Let's even take a look at it. A this. motorboy was at the back trying to, you know, contain the leakage. You cannot help but think, and this happened in Maryland, I, I can tell from the bridge, you cannot help but think how we have gotten to this point. All right, Chikudi, yeah. before you proceed, we have a clip of that video. Let's take a look at it. Only in Lagos, Nigeria, leaking town as a like really, it's Jesus Christ, it's leaking. God damn it, man. Jeez. I told that about. Chukudi, I have, I have one, I have one question because um, I don't even want to get frustrated at this matter at hand because when is the government at federal, state, and local level going to realize that prevention is better than cure? I'm really very sorry. They will never realize, and it's simple. It is simple because if you see their reaction to crisis situation, it's essentially to score cheap political points or to protect their interests. They make it a function of... We complain party. that there is insecurity. And yet you see one person with, you know, you see former ministers, ex-governors in different places where they reside or where they, are, where they have not come to in a year, they have security in place. And I'm not talking of private security. I'm talking of police officers. And where are our road safety agencies? That you go to a petrol station, they tell you switch your phones off. They tell you no smoking. They give you all the rules because you are around flammable gas. Meanwhile, there's a tanker going down the road in Maryland leaking gas. And where are the security agencies? Where you see, are our what we must safety? do, like I always emphasize, it is not just about saying this is what we want to do. I mean, it, it, let's be honest. There's a disaster waiting to happen in Lagos. And this is not about God forbid. Now, if you look at the Akbongbo, uh, Ijora Bridge, Olodia Papa Wharf, Ikolodu Road, you have trailers and trucks that have been packed permanently for some stay several weeks. And building constructors and civil engineers have come out to tell us that these bridges were constructed for just vehicular movement and not to be turned into a motor park. But we still have, the, we still have them there. If anything happens, we say, oh, God forbid, hashtag pray for Nigeria. We must begin to reason. The truth is people who want to perpetuate themselves in power are very pleased with the system. Now, the Nigerian people must rise and begin to participate in the process. I always say it's not about February the 16th or March the 2nd, 2019, when we come out to vote in general elections. We must from now begin to ask questions. And this is beyond ethnic politicking, religious sentiment, or political affiliation. As a people, if we want to be safe in our country, if we want leaders who we validated their mandate by coming out to vote for them in elections to say, lead and chart a course for our development, we must be ready to hold them accountable. You cannot sell your future for eight cups of rice or for 500 naira and we begin to wallow in abject poverty and penury. We must begin to participate in the process. And one way of doing that is understanding the fact that you will be here. 
you will suffer. And you know the children of nowadays that they are giving birth to, they are really very smart. Some of them will just walk up to you and say, Daddy, why did you act so dumb when all this was going on? <laughs> yes, we cannot speak to our parents because mm. this was how we were raised. But children of nowadays will tell you... But the thing is, a lot of us have thought about it, if we're being very honest. Ah, why was my... Why did my parents... But we still, we, still, we still cannot express ourselves. Yes, but at least we've thought about Even it. Even if it's respectfully. Yeah. And the honest truth is, there were people who did their best at the time. But because we tend to make excuses for failed leadership, oh, if this is Nigeria, can it work? It will never work. We must begin to say it must work. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.